Hello students, Morongo Unified School District families, and anybody else who may be watching from home. My name is Mr. Borges, and I'm going to do a quick video for you today, getting you logged into Canvas. So you're going to need to be online. I'm using Google Chrome as a web browser, but you could use something else. First thing you're going to do is navigate to morongo.k12.ca. Dot us or you can just do a Google search for Morongo Unified usually don't even have to finish spelling it that top link there is going to take you right here to our district website and you're going to hover over resources you don't click it just hover over it and one of your choices here is going to be student resources I'm going to the single sign-in portal the digital tools that a lot of our students are already familiar with go ahead and click on that top link there and this is a page that most of your students are going to be familiar with I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom, and here is Canvas. I'm just going to go ahead and click on Canvas. It's going to bring me to the sign-in page. You're going to log in with the same credentials that you would use to log on to a district computer. So chances are that your student already knows their username. It's that first dot last name and the last two digits of their student ID number that they've been using to log on to district computers all along. Now, if you're new to the district, you are going to need your student ID number to put together your username, but I'm going to put a graphic right here that explains more about that. Okay, then we click next. You're going to enter your password. Your password is going to be your last four digits of your student ID number. I go ahead and type that in, and then once you sign in, it's going to bring you to your Canvas dashboard, and yours is going to look different than mine. I've got all kinds of teacher junk on here that you're not going to have. That's fine. I've got a fake class right here. I'm going to go ahead and you're going to have your real classes. If you're a lock intensive student, you should have six classes, your math, your history, your science, your English, your PE, and some elective class that you're in. You'll have six different courses here. All right. One of them is going to be your first period course, right? So at first, first thing on the first day of school, that's the one you're going to open up first, whatever your first period class is. So go under here into the sandbox. It's my fake class. And here you can see I've got I've got a lot of teacher junk on the side, right? Your, yours is going to look uh, a lot simpler. You won't see all that stuff. But anyway, here's my uh, fake class. And on your landing page here that you'll have in your class, you're going to have some Zoom link. Now, it's, we're going to set them up so they're either here, right here where you can find them easy on your home page. It might look like a link. It might look like this Zoom kind of thing. It might look like a button or something that you click on. It might be an assignment that's over here to the side you'll have your zoom link right here I'm gonna go ahead and click on the zoom link so we can see what's gonna happen all right so it's opened a new web browser here it says when the system dialog prompts click open zoom meetings now I'm not getting a system dialog if you did you could go ahead and just click that if you don't it says here if you have zoom client installed you can try to launch the meeting apparently I don't have it installed so you have a couple of options you can either download right so now I'm downloading the installer and I could install that to run Zoom, or you have the other option here to join from your web browser. I'm going to click that one. So it says join a meeting. Okay, we need a name, and we need to promise that we're not a hacker bot. So we answer the Capacha. It says pick all the images that have bridges. I think we got them. Verify that we're not a robot, and then we can join our meeting. All right, now it says a meeting. Right, our class hasn't started yet because our teacher isn't here yet. That means we're early. So that's good news and that's a good habit. What we'll do is we'll just wait here for a moment and then once our teacher starts the class, we'll be right here and we'll be right on time. All right, and our teacher then will have instructions for what we're gonna do next. All right, folks, so I hope you have a great first day of school and then we'll see you next time. Bye.